Hi, today what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on tiles and I'll show you how easy this actually is. First of all, you want to get your 4x4 four four tile to make sure that the surface is nice and clean. I usually try to get a cheesecloth or something just to try to remove all the dust that's on the tile. Now I'm using my stamp on my jig and if you don't know how to use it, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to show you how to use it. I'm taking this image from Unity which is the house and a tree image and I'm using my imaging sheet here with my stamp on my jig to place it exactly where I want it to go. As I ink up my stamp, I'm going to use the um, Stays On Timber Brown ink. You want to use Stays On when you're stamping on tile because you want to make sure that it's going to adhere to the surface that you are stamping on. And Stays On just does that. It stays on just like the name says. So I've inked up my stamp with the Stays On ink. I'm sorry, I did it off camera here. And using my stamp on my jig, I place the corner of my block here and stamp it directly onto the tile. Removing my tool or the stamping my jig, I go ahead and press firmly down on the acrylic block, making sure that I get an even pressure on all sides. Lift up my stamp and there it is my there is my house image and my tree. Now I want to put a sentiment up here because this is going to be I'm actually making these tiles as coasters for my son's um, wedding in this coming October. So once again, I have my imaging sheet here, and I've got my imaging sheet, and I've placed my sentiment where I want it with my stamping majig. I place the corner of this right here, this thing right here, oops, right there, place it on the corner of the stamping majig, and I want to see where I'm actually going to put it. This is where I want it. Move the top so you guys can see. This is where I want it. Just a little bit off to the top left corner there. With my stamp on my jig, I place it just right there where the corner is at. Remove my imaging machine, my imaging sheet. There's my stays on ink right there. See that in the. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my stamp. My stamp is from, oh, where is this from? I think it's Stamp Abilities, and it has the verse, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, 15. The corner of my block, press down, even pressure on all sides, and lift up. And there's my image right there. Isn't that beautiful? So once again, let me do that process for you. Here is my tile, 4x4 four four tile. Make sure that the surface is nice and clean. And I want to make sure that the place I'm going to stamp on, which is going to be up here and down here, that it doesn't have a lot of holes on the tile. Because I am going to be stamping an image, I don't really want all the holes in the way. So I've selected this top corner for my sentiment and this bottom right corner here for the house and the tree. So, stays on ink. Here's my stamp block with my image. Making sure that I get coverage in the whole stamp. There it is right there. Again, it's a stamp from Unity. Here's my tile imaging sheet once again because I want it right there in the bottom right corner stamp on my jig top left corner there remove the imaging sheet stamp on the stamp block adhere it I'm sorry not adhere it but butt it up against the corner of the stamp on my jig and press down firmly pressing down on the stamp. Now you don't want to rock it and you don't want to lift until you know that you've actually did a good job inking the stamp and pressing it onto your tile. Lift up directly and there it is. One more time with the imaging sheet. Want I want the sentiment now on the top left corner. 
So I'm going to place it up there where I want it. And I think that looks just about right. Stamp on my jig one more time. And as I hold that in place, I'm going to go ahead and ink my stamp off camera the sentiment and put it up against the stamp of my jig. Press down, remove the stamp of my jig, and press. And there it is a beautiful stamped image. And these are going to be coasters once again as party, as wedding favors for their upcoming marriage in October. Thanks so much for watching me stamp on tiles. Um, what you do want to do is to make sure that the ink stays on. I am going to bake my tiles at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Once that's done, my tiles are set. The ink will not come off and it'll be a beautiful wedding favor. You also want to get some um, felt pieces to put on the bottom of the tile. So once it's done baking, they've cooled off, you want to take your felt pieces or the felt pads that you would get at a Home Depot or a office, um, sorry, Home Depot or a Lowe's, and they come in packages like this. You'll get one of those felt pieces and put them on the four corners you'll put them on the four corners of the tile here. That way, your the surface of the tile will not scratch the surface of your furniture. Once again, thanks for watching the Scrapper Chick as she stamps on tile. Have a great day. Bye-bye.